Hello friends, good morning. Today I am going to discuss a small but important change Polu has done with its latest release 18.1 that is merging package with unit of measure and remove the unit of measure category. So what it means for the end user or consultant like us. Let's check that out. Now if we go to inventory, when we go to units of measure, now it is replaced with unit and packaging. So this is the latest test version I have launched based on Odoo 18.1. So this is Odoo 18.1 test version. You can see it over here, which is 18.1 test. And now we are looking at units and packaging, the complete change. So we don't have unit of measure category now. And now I have flexibility to convert any unit with correspondence unit of measure with ease. So how it works, let's see some of the scenarios. Now you can see the unit is there as a unit over here, which represent one as a reference unit. And counterpart I can have like dozens with 12 units, which I can define very easily, which again become a packaging type also for us. And then over here, pack of six means six units of package. That is one part. Now for another way, if I want to create a new unit of measure that is square feet, I can create a square feet where the primary unit of measure is one. But in counterpart, if I am selling or buying my item in square yards, that become nine square feet per yard. So I can easily define the quantity and a unit of measure as its corresponding unit. The third option is if I'm buying something in kg, let's say kg is 1000 grams, right? But I also want to sell that in a unit. So what I need is at least uh, 200 units per kg comes when I'm buying a small screw type item. So that I have defined very easily units per kg and kg is the counterpart unit and 0 0.005 becomes my uh, conversion unit. So now let's see how it works. So on the product, when I go, I can say like commercial space, that is a complete example when I am buying in hundred or let's say selling in thousands per square yard. That is one part I am doing. But my customers or let's say it is buying and selling in packaging also like square yard and square feet. So those are the available options I have, I want to put into my packaging options. So what it does when I'm trying to sell this commercial space, then it will be very easy for me to create the counterpart when I am preparing a proposal. So that will work on buying and selling both the way. So my commercial space standard unit of measure is square yard. So 100 square yard per thousand means one lakh Indian rupees. But when I want to sell this into square feet, I can do that and square feet means let's say 9,000 square feet will become almost or let's say 900 square feet becomes 99,999 because of that fraction of unit of measure which will auto convert to 111.11 as a unit price. So that is one example you can directly sell with ease from any unit of measure with this way. Now if I prepare the another product which is my cheese cube where I'm buying 20 per unit or selling 20 per unit and in the sales I can uh, you know sell it in dozens or units or pack of six. Everything is possible now. So in the order now when I'm trying to sell the cheese cube The one unit cost 20, but when I want to have pack of six, it will become 120 because I am going to give six. And when I want to sell dozen, it will become multiplied with 12 units. So that's how easy it is to sell in different unit of measure. Now the third product, I would like to take an example of screws. I am always buying in kg. So the screws are buying 100 per kg and selling 200 per kg. And in selling, I want to sell units per kg like packaging as well as my standard kg. 
okay so both options are available now if i want to sell this item like screw to any customer 1 kg means 200 rupees per kg but yeah my customer is asking 100 units only so it will become 1 per price because of my unit of measure conversion where i have set units of package conversion rate is 0 0.005 per kg so how it comes it's very simple uh, the calculator formula like i want to set you know 1 divided by 200 like 0 0.005 is my conversion so 1 kg equal to 200 units if let's say i want to divide by 500 units it will be 0 0.002 so if i want to change to 500 unit per kg then if i want to sell this into quotation and i revamp this line screws so it will show me one and then when i convert it will show me 0.40 per unit so if i want to sell 100 units the price will be corresponding to when i say 500 unit it will become one kg equal to price that is 200 rupees so that's how you can utilize this open nature of Ulu with removal of category and improving by packaging size and adjusting your price according to different unit of measure very easily so that's a very important change uh, one can use differently in their business cases hope this video will help many people to configure ulu 18.1 with these new unit of measure and unit and packaging changes so units and packaging is the new option you will see thank you guys have a good day